Tommy's flashlights instead of headlights once again on the Dan Ryan overnight, and a state trooper was right there as the deadly shots were fired. Good morning to you. I'm Audrey Nobigas. And I'm Ryan Baker. Unfortunately, another expressway shooting in Chicago, this time on the Dan Ryan with six victims, and one of them did not survive. CBS 2's Mugu Odigwe joins us live along the Dan Ryan with the latest information. Good morning, Mugu. Good morning, Ryan and Audrina. So the Dan Ryan is back open right now, but we know state troopers were out here for hours investigating. As you mentioned, one person was killed in this shooting, something that's become way too common in the Chicago area. In fact, as of last month, there's been at least 43 shootings on the Dan Ryan, making it the most dangerous expressway in the area. Last night's shooting was just after 10 near 67th Street. You can see state police here using flashlights to search for evidence on the ground. There are two cars police are focused on. You got this white SUV and then this red car with the doors open. Police say all of this started when a state trooper heard gunshots on the expressway. They pulled over to investigate, and that's when two cars pulled up alongside them. The people inside both cars, six in total, said they were shot at. One of them had a graze wound, but a woman in her 60s, she died from a gunshot wound. Now, police were able to track the suspect's car down on 61st in Ashland, and two people were arrested. We're live along the Dan Ryan, Miguel Deque, CBS 2 News.